I think he means survive into the mid game, but hold okay. on. Kikis now looking for a dive. Still dangerous because it's Scion. He has flash available. Okay, let's see what Kikis can do. Steps on top of the ward, expect instantly backs away. They There's a teleport the available for Exile. Does he use it? Starts to get channeled down. Hema play comes in, a dash in. Audacious charge is already used. The pop, not going to be enough to take down Expect, but now Senkax, he fancies himself a shot. Doesn't decide to commit. They get the flash and the teleport out of Exile for just the flash of Kikis. Senkax turned around. I think if Exile overextends here, Senkax might look to come in from behind. Round two, fight! Glacial Tomb, Frozen Tomb rather, is thrown down just as Punch comes up. Prophet uses the Sanguine Pool to stay alive, and I thought that was close, but Rogue pull it off. And I think they're exerting more so control, not over the top lane, but over the Rift Tail. There's now every member is joining up here. All right, so Kajal's going to get caught out here, but who is in trouble? Kickers, in fact, goes down. There is so much isolation damage from the Kha'Zix. Senkex buys enough time from his ultimate for the rest of Rogue to arrive. But look at Expect. He puts the hammer down, knocks Rogue up. The turnaround, the Vladimir damage cannot be ignored. Exile gets a three-man stun. Jessica's trying to put the pain down with a Blade of the Ruin Kick. There's every Everybody low, but nobody's dead yet. Finally, EQ goes down. They're trading kills back and forth, but it's Exile that wins. Disaster troll there. Stopwatch from Prophet. He hits the stopwatch. Cyan flies through him and nails two of his teammates. Ah, oh, feels bad, man. Oh, Senkax now caught on the wrong side of the rift. He gets caught out by the missiles. Huge cheers here from Berlin as the mad lads from Britain Exile pick themselves up the gold lead in the bottom right-hand corner of the of the jungle. They're also starting to set up around the top half as well. So, you know, options available. And there's that th the, the initiation we talked about. Curving around the corner where Dick gets blown up before he can even use the gray health. And now mid tower's under threat. They need to be doing well for the Scion Gallio to keep them backed up. Very nice interrupt from Expect. He catches out onto Senkax. Senkax is forced to use the flash. He's already used the ultimate. Cage gets summoned a heal. Senkax escapes. That was exceptionally well played. Because of the control ward in the blue buff by Rogue, he's going to find a flank here onto Kickus into Profits. And of course, it's very easy to follow up with the Galio. All right, the Void Assault has already been used. Galio ultimate comes down. Teleport already being channeled. Profits running for his life. Exile starts to channel the Duran, will not find anyone to taunt. Tom Kent decides to jump in. Kadrill flashes away for safety, and Exile's left for dead. The initiation backfires. Exile bit off more than they could chew. Unless you've got some sort of control, which you can see Rogue on the mini-map. They're pushing in towards the Baron Pit. They've got a couple control wards placed fairly defensively, and Kikis thinks he's playing bait, but this is a psych double bait. Crescent God comes down to buy some time. Pedro gets yet himself another kill. 100% kill participation. Kikis is the target. He's put a lot of damage down, but he's not going to be able to kill Pedro because of the Chrono Shift. It was so close to working. All right, Senkux, can you be the hero that Rogue needs right now? Nine seconds before Prophet comes back up, he's got a teleport available to him. Glacial Path and Frozen Tomb are available. What did can try to disrupt in the pit. It's a 4,000 HP. Here comes HeQ. True Shot Barrage is not available. 2,000 HP for Baron. Is it going to be smited down? Exile is staying in the pit. They secure it, but at what cost? Senkux forced to self-cast the ulti. HeQ fires across the True Shot Barrage, but it's too little. It's too late. And X Excellent Baron and an excellent team brother. So close. Excellent team fight. Wow, I couldn't have messed that up more. So this is going to be a 1-2 huge Baron power play for Excel, and they may even close the game here pending the death timer. Oh, death timers are so high. 20 seconds for Senkax, 15 for Profit with all the damage that Kadrill and Jeskla have available. They're going to just cut down Kickers where he stands. 12 kills to 3. The Nexus turret has fallen. The second follows thereafter. And as the Nexus is killed, it's an XL win over Rogue.